I was telling Shane Gillis about um, this uh, comedian Sophie Buttle that I worked with. Oh yeah, I know Sophie. I've great, known her for years. Great school shooting joke. She just said like, it's just not worth it to be a bully anymore. <laughs> yeah, that's PG. It's a, yeah, like, uh, the best one I heard was was uh, with uh, all the with all the guns. Like yeah. it's just it doesn't. Adrian Apolucci has one on her special on her uh, album Baby Skeletons. It was like when uh, Parkland happened, and it was happened on Ash Wednesday. And she goes, it was even worse because like all those kids had targets on their heads. Oh, <laughs> God. Dude, she told that the night after it happened, and everyone was like. Right? And then yeah. this eruption of laughter went off, and I'm like, you gotta take some chances. Yeah, I, I personally don't what? like offending people. I don't want to offend people. I want people who are cool to be like, oh, ho, 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 ho. right. But like, you gotta get on that line, which means some <laughs> dorks are gonna be over the line. Dude, I'll, I'll, t I'll tell you this this uh, gnarly joke. Yeah. It, it, like Gino Bisconti yeah, came yeah, to yeah. me. You okay. know, <laughs> yeah. so you know it's fucking gnarly. <laughs> like I, I was getting ready to do the Charlie Sheen roast. Um, and oh yeah, I forgot how you were on that. Yeah, Did Mike Tyson punch you? Yeah, I, I ran into Mike Tyson's fist. So Gino Bisconti <laughs> t t tells me that he, he sends me this joke. He's like, dude, l look at the dais and say, who are these people? The last time this many nobodies got roasted, at least Great White was playing. Nice. <laughs> if you don't know, there was a fucking right. fire at a great white concert and a bunch of people died. But a lot of those people were losers. <laughs> you can't, you can't, I mean, yeah. they, there's more to the story. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's the, here's what happened. Yeah. Like, I mean, I, I, I heard the... I, I got it's a the, roast. You're supposed to be... Everyone's know, signing up for it. Understood. But all the people in Rhode Island where the fire happened didn't sign up for it. You know? And, the and, arsonist did. <laughs> like but I mean yeah I was oh, so they got pit. okay so so I tell Jeffrey Ross I'm like I'm like man tell him the joke and and Jeffrey goes I oh guarantee my god. you he loved it he says oh my god you have to use that joke yep. on the roast oh my god you have to I'm like dude I would never say anything this offensive and he's like oh my god you have to so we go around like the LA clubs like practicing like uh, our our roast sets yeah and. Every I'm like I'm like whatever I'm at the the comedy store like I'll just throw it out there and it was like the biggest laugh yeah. out of the whole deal and I started to think to myself oh my god like that joke is kind of killing like maybe like uh, yeah maybe I'll use it so on uh, at the you know they tape the roast like a couple days before or where do they tape it and then it takes them like a week or so to to put it out yeah whatever, you know they edit out all the bombs yeah yeah so. Uh, I, so I, I said it at the taping, you know. I said the the great white joke, and um, the next morning after the taping, like my whole Facebook feed, like it's just people like I, you know, go burn in hell, I hate, like. <laughs> Hey, and I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> why do they get it? I'm like, the, the, I'm like, the, the roast didn't even come out yet, and, and what it was, was that there was uh, a writer from Entertainment Weekly who was present at the taping. I'm sure just, he was not cool. And and just, he he uh, he wrote up a thing about that he was at the taping, and he, and he just wrote up like some examples of jokes that, yeah. that he included in like a blog or oh, something. Oh, he didn't even shit on it? He, and just, he, he didn't shit on it, oh. no. He oh, just included, a bad writer. <laughs> he just included it as a list of jokes that just examples of what was said at the roast. And like somebody in Rhode Island uh, saw the this blog and like what like was offended and then post it was like this viral thing and like everybody in Rhode Island was so mad at me and upset like and I've never been in that kind of a situation because I'm just not someone who seeks to like be offensive and hurt people's feelings like it it affected me so badly I got it's, on with with Jeffrey Ross with yeah. with Comedy Central I'm like I'm on my knees begging you begging you please cut please cut that no. joke out please cut that joke no. out and uh, like I issued an apology, like the whole <laughs> deal. And I swear, I was. It's just uh, like I, I get you not want to defend people, but it's not for them. Whoever showed it to them was an asshole. <laughs> you know, it's not I, for those people. Why would you show somebody? It's like taking Mein Kampf to a fucking Jewish school and be like, "Do you see this?" And you're like, "Don't show them that." Right. You're not supposed to see it. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, I don't know. I want to. I want. Like, it's the problem is it's just, everything's worldwide now. 
So right. if you go to a comedy club, everyone there is like, we're in this dark hole. We want to hear these really dark, evil things, and everybody right. signed up for it. It's a contract, <laughs> right? And then you show, you and tell somebody, somebody what you it on their phone, and then yeah, and it's not for them. Yeah, it's like, the, <clears throat> why would you, why would you bother them? Right. Some, some. Uh, why would you? Or, or, or like you know, you talk shit with your friend about somebody, about another friend, and then somebody will go tell that friend, and you're like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Right. That's behind the scenes trash talk. Yeah. <laughs> that guy's not supposed to That's know about limits. that. And it's like, why would you <laughs> say like, that? I'm like, no, no. Why did like, he tell you? He's like, you know, like when you talk shit about your friend to Bert. And- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did say that, but it was behind your back, dude. It's all good. <laughs> dude, what? you should have said how many times Bert said I love you during that podcast. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> wow, first man. time doing Molly. Just rubbing your leg. <laughs> he was loving it. Now his cat sat down on the couch next to him, and he was like. He's just staring at this cat. And this, and this cat's is before looking. he realized it. No, after he realized. Oh, after he realized it. And um, and then after he got comedian of the year or something. So maybe you're responsible for that. I'm for sure responsible for it. <laughs> I upped his game. I helped him see clearly. <laughs> right. And he said his cat's looking at him. He's like, he's like, dude, my cat sees me. And I was like, yeah, I know. He goes, you don't know. My cat sees me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah, you're feeling it, bro. And <laughs> hey, you guys never aired that. He never aired it. I gave him a Cash 22. I gave him the best podcast of 2019. And he, all on the podcast, he was like, I am pissed, but also I get that you know I love good content. So you gave me an amazing podcast. Joey Diaz came over, telling the story, watching the sunset behind him. We're both like, it was awesome. Yeah, the question is, if you put that podcast behind a paywall, would it do better than... It would make $74 million. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> yeah. It would do better than my special, Ari Shafir Drew, available now for free. Uh, would do, it, it, it would do better than anything. I say, Bert, release the pot. It's been long enough. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Ari Shafir Jew. Yeah. It's just called Jew. Jew, yeah. It's Ari- a theme hour. I've never really done one like that, like that hard before. It's wow. just all about, I was Orthodox Jewish. I was fucking. Wow. Yeah, you okay. were studying scripts. I was reading that about you. You went to college and you studied the Jewish. The scripture. I went to seminary. I was going to be a rabbi. Hard turn. When, when uh, did you back out of that? When did you make that turn? It's twenty one LSD trip. Twenty one years old. Yeah, I got I got a fucking BJ, and it was like, uh, is this allowed? And they were like, hard no. <laughs> like, oh, I'm out. Keep it warm for me. <laughs> yeah. It's called Stevo's Hot Sauce for Your Butthole. And if you go on Amazon and type in Stevo's Hot Sauce for Your Butthole, and Order yourself a bottle. You'd be really helping me because right now we're ranked number 30 on all of Amazon. And if you buy a bottle, we might go up the ladder and that would mean a lot. So please get on Amazon and buy Stevo's hot sauce for your butthole. Yeah. Yeah, dude.